Yeah. So hey guys, welcome back to another day in our adventure. We're still here in Cartagena. We finally met a little bit of English speakers. A really small Piquito Chica. Come as Yama? Diana. Diana, Diana. And we Piquito Piquino. Yeah, two of us chicas in Argentina, and we Piquino. And the where Grande is the patos. To make this episode time. Oh, I see, yeah, it's mismo. Platform. Yeah, mismo, mismo. I have like Kiko, but yeah, so like your mass, mass Kiko. Okay. Uh, so, what's your favorite thing uh, to in Catalina? Uh, the party. Si. Sí. Alright. Oh, with club? Club in Al viento. Al viento. Ah. Al viento. Al viento. For in Murcia. Murcia. Iluminata. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because, is it. For English pe people, that if an English guy wants to come here and they speak Spanish girls, how would he go about it? Like uh, dating? Yeah, 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 sorry. Dating in here, yeah, muy bueno. Like uh, a. <laughs> <laughs> so, muy aventura. Aventura, yeah, divertido. No, divertido. Pero divertido. divertido. Funny. Ah, funny. Ah. No tienes playa. Ah, me gusta, me gusta playa. La playa es lo mejor de Better. De Better is the beach. Ah, oh, yes. Mi, mi amiga se dice muy lejos. De Better. Okay. La manga. La manga. La manga. La manga, ok. Ok. Me gusta, me gusta de Rubia. Sí. Yeah, me gusta. Oh, me gusta Rubia. Rubia, yeah. Sí. Sí, yeah. Ah, es un Yeah, it's all around. <laughs> Yeah, you got like a really good. Yeah, muy poquito. Anyways, gracias. Um, so, club, cafe, and tranquilo. Cafe. Okay. No. Okay. So, ¿Te gusta inglés? Uh, Inglaterra? ¿Te gusta Inglaterra? ¿Era? Inglaterra? Ah, sí. No, I, I was in London. Really? Ah. Muy, muy bonito. Muy, muy lindo. Fue así. Cuatro o cinco años. Cuatro o cinco años. Ah, muy, muy long. No, no, no hablas inglés. Muy poco. Muy poco. Ok. ¿El trabajo? ¿O estudiante? No, estudiante. Ah, ok. Yeah, Para ser profesora. Ah, ok. Ah, profesor inglés, profesor de portugués, profesor de español. Ah, ok. Oh, piquito español. So, but like, uh, yeah, vives en Argentina, Brasil, por tres años. But, uh, no, no, no tienes, no necesitas profesor de portugués, profesor de inglés. Okay, okay, I'll be professor English part of two. And you can be professor de español para mí. Or the teacher, right? Okay. So, club, tranquilo, and no hay pensión de Catalina. Club tranquilo. Club tranquilo en Catalina. Bueno, que sea el soldadito de plomo, ¿no? El soldadito de plomo. Café lao. Café lao, okay. Café lao. Yeah, yo necesito aventura. Me voy a ir a todo el mundo. Al viento, al viento. Al viento. Al viento también. Al viento, sí. ¿Qué? Ok. Ok, gracias. Mierda, 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 chica. Ok. Gracias. Yes, going now, ok. Hey, guys, welcome. Welcome to Cartagena. What's more relaxed than MSC Blues? So, yeah. Hey guys, so we're here, we're here in Cartagena. We just finally found an English speaker. Here right in the centre, we're gonna to go to the Coliseum and we're gonna to go to the Blues. Here we find a lovely, lovely woman. So, what's your name? Rocío. Rocío, como se llama? Alright. So, me hablas poquito español, but uh, vives in Argentina, por un año. Ah. So, uh, what's your favorite thing to do in all of Cartagena? Eh, in Cartagena, sí. eh, I've lived here for my life, so I all like right. to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> eh, go to the bars, go yeah. to the. Also the beach, La Manga is near here. Yeah, I'm going. La Manga. Yeah, La Playa. Yeah, I was going to go to the beach, but they said it's too far. I've only got one hour before I go on the cruise. And oh. is it Muili just poor Caminando? Uh, maybe. If maybe. you get okay. a car, it's like ten minutes. Okay. Okay. But yeah. I don't know. Walk around. Yeah. It's very beautiful, I think. Yeah, I I love adventure, like traveling. But is there any adventure to do here, like Colosseum? I, I saw a Colosseum someplace, so like, yes, like climbing. Yeah, uh, it's a very historical city. We have yeah. the Roman theater. Yes. And it's okay. also famous because it's a modern 
Yeah, just waiting for me. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, just one more question. Uh, what's the dating life here for, for, for guys and girls? Like, if, if an English guy comes here and wants to date like a Spanish girl, is that is that good for him or? Yeah, or my, you... my boyfriend is South English. So... Really? Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, I'm British, so so do, do you like British guys or? British. Really? So why British? What's your favorite thing about British? Uh, well, he's half Spanish too. Ah, okay. So <laughs> hablas, yeah, hablas español. Yeah. Sí. Yes. Ah, oh, bueno, you nailed it. Good, good, bueno, chica. And it's Joe. Just hey guys, it's the third day. We're here doing Catina. So this is lovely Catina. So we're going to explore the place. See ya. Yeah, it's like a little seaside pub, but yeah. Hi right, guys, so welcome to Cartagena. We're gonna do this is the third day of the cruise. We've got a uh, we've just exited Rome. Is that can you back up here? Can you back yeah? So we just so it's been 10 minutes when it's just all I've seen is, I haven't seen any nice Latinas here yet. So I've just, uh, in the city port, I think they're all, all the nice Latinas, the Spanish girls you're looking for are going to be in Ibiza, um, Marbella, where all the party cities are. But this is just uh, a little historic town where, full of, uh, full of tourists and uh, all these elderly people on the, on the cruise. Yeah, probably like one of the only few young people on the cruise. Really young, but some of them are uh, a bit, bit more mature, which is cool because you can chill out and talk to them because they're really relaxed people to talk to. Really cool, and they're American, which makes them even cooler. Where's the MSC crew? It's kind of yeah, as I was saying, they're the coolest Latinas, the Spanish people, and they're the one that invented the language of Spain. All the other kind of Spanish speaking countries, except for Colombia, are kind of up their own nose, you know, and think they're the best. The Spanish are the only ones that are really chill, really relaxed. It's kind of, kind of like Portugal. Like, I'm in love with the spirit of um, Spanish uh, and how chill they are and how relaxed they are. Like every time I speak to a Spanish girl, it's just so relaxed and so chill. Catalina is a really small, nothing town, but I think there's a Colosseum nearby, but I think I won't have time to reach it because I'm only, you have to get a car to, to reach it or something. Uh, Colosseum and there's a beach, but the beach is pretty far. You're going to have to walk around uh, over the mountains because we're at the ports, but you have to walk around. It's too far to walk. But yeah, I've not seen any really stunning girls here. It's a really kind of nothing town where people come just to relax and escape from life. Where people go to the main cities like Prague and everything for sex and to get noticed and to be popular and everything um, <clears throat> for all the action. But people come here to retire to get away from all that kind of thing, which is understandable. The girls here are really homely, really homely. A lot of Spanish girls are all really homely. That's why it has this whole relaxing kind of atmosphere. But yeah, I haven't seen any 10 out of 10s. I, pro I, I mean, they, stare, they, they look at me a lot, like the blonde, uh, the ones that have the dye ha dare, hair dyed blonde, like. I go into the, there's lots of perfume stores around here. I went, I went into both perfume stores and the girls look, the girls look at me and um, but every time I talk to them, one of the friends or the co-worker always interrupts because usually the pretty ones don't speak, speak that much English because they have head goings on full of other stuff. But, but yeah, I uh, approached this girl and this, uh, she's really good looking, she was staring at me. She's, and really relaxing as well. Like usually Latinas, when you have a, when you approach them, they get nervous with a white guy approaching them, especially in Paraguay or Buenos Aires or anywhere. They get nervous. You can feel that nervous energy. But here, the blonde girl I um, was talking to, the even though she didn't speak any English, just hung around me, you know, close to my vicinity, and just even though she just didn't speak any English, and it wouldn't go any further because she knows I'm here only for a cruise. You know, they're just really chill. Like Chris Hemsworth, he's married to a Spanish girl, a Spanish woman. I can understand that because I think here they like manly men like that um, in Spain. And they just really... So I might get some perfumes here. I might get this one as well. Get some people's name on. I might get you this one, some name. You have uh, Loli, Lorena, I'll get that for you. I might get some ankle braces as well. I'll get one with your name on. So, Lorena. Cool. I don't think I can live here, guys. It's way too chill. Like, uh, it's nothing kind of see port town. That's when I post that blonde girl. She was really liked it because probably never ever gets approached. But yeah, really too relaxing for me. There's nothing ever going on. But they probably have visitors every day from the port, from the cruises. 
uh, support, so they have people coming from USA all the time. But yeah, maybe Portugal would be better to meet girls. They have some beaches, and obviously we're going to do the Bahamas again, which is always nice to meet supermodel kind of girls. They're always going to those kind of places. Yeah, Cafu, like like in Argentina, they have Cafu. I just lost them. So I can't find them anywhere. It's usually those guys that are really receptive. That's Cartagena. Mission complete, guys. Yeah, I met some really nice girls. And obviously, the Spanish. And I've got my burger with all this garlic as well inside. Try and look after my liver as well, because I've got to make the most of all these delicious burgers. Yeah, these burgers are like the... Uh, Nicest tasting burgers you'll ever, not like McDonald's, real home cooked. It's, it's amazing, everything's free. And I also found out that they also have a free sauna and free jacuzzi, free, um, free steam room here. Cartagena is what I expected, a little quiet town, no, probably, it's probably zero crime, no acts at all. But yeah, the girls were really nice.